所。南无阿弥陀佛。南无阿弥陀佛。南无阿弥陀佛。南无阿弥陀佛。南无阿弥陀佛。南无阿弥陀佛。南无阿弥陀佛。南无阿弥陀佛。南无阿弥陀佛。南无阿弥陀佛。南无阿弥陀佛。
The three treasures. Hard is it to be born into human form. Now we are living it. Difficult is to hear the teaching of the Blessed One. Now we hear it. If we do not deliver ourselves in the present life, no hope is there that we shall be freed from suffering and sorrow in the ocean of birth and death. Let us reverently take refuge in the three treasures of the truth. I take refuge in the Buddha. May we all together absorb into ourselves the principle of the way to enlightenment and become aware of his supreme teaching. I take refuge in the Dharma. May we all together be submerged in the depth of his doctrine and gain wisdom as deep as the ocean. I take refuge in the Sangha. May we all together become units in true accord in the life of harmony in the spirit of universal brotherhood, freed from the bondage of selfishness. Even through ages of myriads of kalpas, hard is it to hear such an excellent, profound, and wonderful doctrine. Now we are able to hear and receive it. Let us thoroughly understand the true meaning of Tathagata's teaching. Namo Amidabits, Namo Amidabits, Namo Amidabits, Namandavits, 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 Namandavits. Namanda, 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 Namandavits, Namandavits, Namandavits. Lacking even small love and small compassion, I cannot hope to benefit sentient beings were it not for the ship of Amida's vow. How could I cross the ocean of painful ex existence? Namo Amidabuts, Namo Amidabuts, Namo Amidabuts, Namo Amidabuts, Namo Amidabuts. Hi everyone. So this is a passage was written by Shinran Shonin in Shōzō Matsu Wasan. It represents the world of reincarnation 
that is born and finish our life again and again. Shinran Shoni named it the ocean of painful existence. And only the ship of Amida's vow can cross the ocean and bring us to the Purim. So recently, my family shipped some packages from Japan to me, but it seems to take more than half a year. But anyway, it is a difficult situation to cross the ocean now. But uh, when I look at overseas travel website, I can see beautiful pictures of nature and food. And there's a lot of information like how much should I pay for the airplane ticket or what kind of stuff should I bring? Maybe passport, insurance. So they tell us, how can I get there? How can I get to the travel? And when Shinran Shonin was young, he wondered, how can I go to the Puran? And he practiced hard at Mount Hiei for 20 years. And he encountered Honen Shonin. And when he encountered the teaching of Tariki, he realized that it is not the path to the Puran. It is a path from the Puran. If I say, how can I go to the Puran? It is already includes my feeling, my mind. We call this desire. So that's why it is very difficult to completely remove my brand passion. If, if I, even, even if I want to be born into the Puran, this is one of the desire. Uh, this is a pass to the Puran. So what is pass from the Puran? The teaching, teaching of Tariki says, Amida Buddha wants to bring us to his Puran. So this is a vow from the Buddha side. Buddha side, that how can I bring everyone to the Puran? This is Amida's vow. So today I will share the story about Shinran Shonin called Kawagoe no Myogo, which means Namo Amida Butsu across the river. This is a very famous story. So some pictures about this story still exist in Japan. Okay, I will, I will share the story. Kawagoe no Myogo. One day, it was a cold winter evening. Shinran Shonin was on a walking journey to spread the teaching of Nembutsu. And he tried to find a place to stay the night. And he found an old house and knocked on the door. Then the family who lived there appeared. And Shinran Shonin asked them, it is okay if I stay here tonight. The family answered, You can sleep outside of our house. And then Shinran Shonin says, Thank you so much, Namandab, Namandab. And he found a big stone and he used the stone as a pillow to rest his body. And he continued to recite Nembutsu. Namandav, Namandav. The family heard his Nembutsu and they worried about him. And finally, they decided to invite Shinran Shonin into their house. And then the, the family encountered the Nembutsu teachings by Shinran Shonin and they became Buddhist. The next morning, the family tried to find Shinran Shonin because they wanted to ask him to write Namo Amida Butsu on a piece of paper. But Shinran Shoni was already left. The family searched for Shinran Shoni near the house. 
the wife in the family found him. He was walking the street across the river. And the wife said, Shinran Shonin, please wait. Could you write Namo Amida Butsu on this paper? She has a paper. <clears throat> and then she tried to go into the river and to cross the, to the other side. And at that time, Shinran Shonin immediately said, please stop. You don't have to try to cross by yourself. And he had a calligraphy writing brush in his hand and move it to like this. The right Namo Ami Dabutsu in the air, moving like this. Just then, strangely, the letters Namo Ami Dabutsu appeared on the paper held by the wife on the other side. So this is the story Kawagoe no Myogo. Is this a fictional story? But I'm not sure, but I think there is a, an important message about Tariki. Shinran Shonin says, you don't need to cross by yourself. So maybe it represents how can we go to the Puran. So he knew that is not the past to the Puran. It is past from the Puran. So I guess this story represents uh, how can I go to the Puran and Amida Buddha wants to bring us, and we cannot beyond by ourselves. And have you ever heard about the webbing, webbing in the hands of Amida Buddha, his hand? So someone says that the webbing is to carry all sentient beings. If you look, if you look the feet of Amida Buddha, there's also webbing on his feet. So Ryuji Bodhisattva says this is for swimming. Swimming to help us from the ocean of suffering. So today's Vasan says, how could I cross the ocean of painful existence? So I cannot swim there. Even riding to Amida's ship is too difficult by myself. Maybe I will just sink into the ocean. So Amida Buddha will salvage, salvage me on the ship of vow. And this is the reason why Amida Buddha has webbing on his hand and on his feet. Okay, thank you very much for the, this precious opportunity to share the teachings to, with everyone. In closing, I will read the passage of Shinran Shonin. Namo Amida Lacking even small love and small compassion, I cannot hope to benefit sentient beings were it not for the ship of a maiden's vow. How could I cross the ocean of painful existence? Namo Amidabuts, Namo Amidabuts, Namo Amidabuts, Namandabuts, Namandabuts, Namandabuts.